Welcome back to The Breakfast Show. It is 9.15 on a Thursday morning and you can hear us but not see us. Mm -mm -mm. Where are we? Are we hiding behind a couch? Or are we, are we just not on the TV on, screen? Yeah, that was last week's show. That was last Hiding week's show. behind the couch. Oh, yeah. That For, was good good yeah. For good reason. <laughs> but this morning, but no, we told we're you. not. Yes, we're here. We're actually here. We like to consider ourselves as magicians sometimes. Yeah, we told you we we're going to bring a little magic to your morning. But unfortunately, we aren't turning any tricks no, today. Not really. Uh, our next guest was actually somebody we, we met at the Esquire party a couple of months ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But he's been performing tricks for the longest time. Mm hmm you know, from everyone, from revelers in the club to sultans of Perlis, we are very fortunate to have him on our sofa this morning. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Zelwyn Chu. Good morning, Zelwyn. Yeah, hey, good morning, good to see you again. Yeah. We're surprised you didn't appear out of thin air. Never. <laughs> I appeared you guys, sir. Oh, okay. Actually, he was his doing. It was his doing. Yeah. Nothing to do with the okay, studio. Okay, now everyone's going to ask you to make them disappear. Your Actually, there are, are some people, the there there are some people yeah. that like you to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know who to start with here. Yeah. <laughs> who to start with? <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Let's start with uh, how you you began in your journey of for magic. I started off about four years back when I was in college. Mm -hmm. I was studying. I picked up my first very first magic trick learning from YouTube. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's where I started off, and then I felt that that wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I wanted to go on further, and I Google search some stuff where I can right. learn and all this thing. So I bought books and DVDs. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So now, is that how most uh, magicians or starting up magicians learn? They go to YouTube, they, 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 they I mean, yeah. books, yeah, they absorb very, books. One very common place to go for um, people for them to learn yeah, magic yeah. is actually through YouTube, yeah. YouTube, yeah. But unfortunately, what they teach on YouTube are those really, really um, not well taught. Simple right. Not well taught and well -taught, therefore yeah. those people that learn from YouTube learn it in the wrong way. Right, yeah. right, right. And what is the right way to learn? The right way is to learn is to read a lot of books. Right. A right. lot books. of books. There are a lot of books on magic. It's gonna right. be it's gonna be hard reading it. Right. But yeah, that's where that's you should learn. Does it yeah. start with a natural talent though? Um not really. Yeah. Everyone can learn magic. So magic you is can science. Be learned. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 they can be learned, yeah. You can be learned. Oh, time to there quit is hope for us, Joe. Time to quit our day jobs. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, you got these books, and what was the first trick that you 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 you, you sort of performed or you perfected? And you go in like, yay! The first trick I learned actually was a very complicated card magic. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, it was something really compli complicated. I don't know how I started off learning that. Right. And until today, I'm still doing it and still trying to perfect it. Oh, so you yeah. haven't really perfected it. I yeah. mean, it's your 16th you chapel. To, uh, you, you have to continue doing and making sure it's better and better and better oh, and gets better. Right, right. So that's, um, yeah, that's the art of magic. Yeah. Okay. okay. But you know, uh, there are now, there are magicians, there are mentalists. Uh, I believe you're called a mind music Illusionist. magician. Illusionist. Yeah. Uh, what do you like to be known as and why? Um, the common term would be magician. Yeah. Uh, Otherwise, people. I, I normally term myself as a mentalist, but mm. a lot of people out there do not know what mentalist yeah. is. Yeah. They yeah. will think, are you mental? Yeah. <laughs> like crazy, Can you read yeah, like crazy <laughs> mental stuff like that. Yeah. Right. Actually, mentalism is just a subcategory of magic. It's basically right. mind magic. Right. Right. It involves subtle suggestions, subtle influence to influence someone's decision and thoughts mm. and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I see. So well, I'm sure we'll get an example of that yeah, later on the yeah, show. But let's continue yeah, talking. Yeah. So tell us about you know when you actually started performing for an audience. My first ever audience was in my church group. Yeah, mm -hmm. we had a private Christmas party um, in front of all, like 30 to 40 people in a house. Right. And yeah, I was pretty very very nervous that time. Yeah, and that was my first ever time performing. Right. Four years and back. how long ago was that? Four years back. Four years okay. ago. Yeah. Okay, and uh, obviously you, you know, rose the ranks and moved on and performed for bigger crowds and bigger audience and even the Sultan of Perlis. Tell us a little bit about that. How did you, uh, you know, make your way there? <laughs> well, I would say I'm really blessed and fortunate to be able to right, meet the right people at the right mm. time who are able to bring me to places here. Right. I mean, in this, in everything you do, all you need to do is just stay passionate. And when you do the right thing and you are passionate about what you do, people will start coming and look for you and they will bring you to places here. Yeah. So who were some of your uh, inspirations? One of my inspirations would be, of course, David Copperfield. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's a very common name. Other than that, um, we have people like David Stone, Michael Amma, mm. Max Maven, who uh, their names are not too conventional and people won't know, but yeah, they're really right. good magicians out there. What about the guy on TV? Um, the Masked Magicians? Blake. Blake uh, no, David Blaine. David Blaine. David yeah, David Blaine. Blaine. Oh yes, David Blaine is one of the legend, one of the guy that started off making street magic or so-called yeah. close-up yeah. magic yeah. popular. popular. Yeah. Right, Before right. him, people were doing close-up magic, but 
people weren't um, receptive of what right. we are doing. Right. Therefore, when David Blaine came to the scene doing so-called street magic, yeah. and it made the whole world go, wow, you know, right. magic experience closed up yeah. and right under your nose, in your hands. Yeah. So, yeah, he started off street I, magic. I guess he allowed everyone or other magicians like yourself to be able to approach people or strangers on the street and yeah. you say, hey, let me do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they've seen David Blaine and so they... they yeah, that's right, that's right. So, so what does it do for you um, as a magician when, when you see the expression on people's faces? No, that, that is the greatest joy of a magician, you know. <laughs> when, and not only magician, but any other performers, when yeah. you do something and you see sure. people appreciating your art yeah. and loving what you do and when they smile and laugh and, yeah. you know, after you show thank you, hey, that wasn't very wonderful. Show. I mean, that is the greatest pay mm. right. any performer could have uh, get. Yeah. Right, but do you find that, you know, yourself being uh, established as, you know, a mentalist and a magician, do you get everybody asking you to do a trick <laughs> all the time? <laughs> yeah. Well, if I were to collect one ringgit or <laughs> two ringgit from everyone that asked me, hey, show me a trick, hey, yeah. do me a trick, yeah. I'll be a millionaire right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I'm sure you're well on your way. I'm sure you're well on your way. Uh, uh, because you actually also perform for very uh, large crowds. For example, yeah. Yeah. you're the resident magician, uh, magician at Zook yeah, that's at the right. moment. Yeah. Yeah. How does this work in a club? Wow, in a club, it's a very, very, very interesting experience. Mm. I mean, it is one of the hardest places to perform at. Yeah, I can it's imagine. Noisy, it's noisy, it's noisy, it's dark, yeah. and people just want to dance, and, you know, they're probably they're drunk. Yeah, well. Probably, yes, yeah. <laughs> and uh, magic involves a lot of psychology as well, oh. and yeah. noticing people and watching people and yeah. studying people. So what I do normally is I stand at one place, and then I look at people. Are they, you know, are they bored? Are they lonely? Are they approachable? And it, do, it does a lot of studies. It, it takes a lot of studies, and before I go and perform, and I, I'm, until right now, I'm still learning how to break the ice in people. But yeah, yeah. Okay. it's one of the hardest places to perform, and, yeah. and a very challenging place, and where yeah. you can really grow and learn. Yeah, yeah in the club. So <laughs> what happens is, um, and when when are you at Zook? I'm normally there on either Fridays or Saturdays or both nights. Yeah. So basically, if we were to go to Zook on the weekend, you'd come up to people and offer to perform? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'm just uh, walking around or be dancing in the DJ booth and all those things. And people are like, hey, you're the magician, right? I have some friend having some birthday party. Can you come? Right. All right, yeah, I just come right, and go and then right, go to have right. some, you know, have sure. fun, drinking, it does, dancing. It's just living up the, the party, so to speak. My right? friend says, yeah. Yeah, Zook pays me to party well, so yeah, quite true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad gig at all. No, not at all. Um, unless you're not the partying guy. <laughs> I am, I am. Okay. Wow. So, no, so good for you then. Uh, yeah. Now, okay, you know, you, you perform street magic, one, uh, you know, close up, small groups, and also uh, you do mm. big groups. Yeah. How different is it? How, do we, and which do you prefer? Um, both are also very, um, both are very preferred by me. I mean, I mean both are really nice um, ways of performing. Close up magic is like when you're doing close up to yeah. many people. Like and my, yeah. yes, yeah. my largest audience was uh, in Mumbai, India. It, early January when I performed for 20,000 people on wow, stage. Wow, 20,000 Yes, people. it was really, really huge. I was there, like, they were like ants, you know, okay. <laughs> well, it's Little very ends. different. Yeah, you have different sets of magic and yeah. it requires different sets of um, performance, charisma and uh, showmanship, know, showmanship yeah. everything, yeah. 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 A lot, it's very different. Mm. So what's yeah. your biggest trick to date? Well, there's no, actually, uh, there's no biggest trick or smallest right, trick. Right. Um, I believe that every trick, even the easiest magic trick or magic effect you can learn if you're able to perform it well and you know turn that trick into magic not just showing yeah. a trick but entertaining well yeah that is um, an achievement itself it is so there's yeah. no really big or small trick on me yeah. okay right, right uh, Zawin, I wish I had a dollar right now because uh, what we're going to do is actually ask you could you do us the honor as, you know, since we are on? Well, I can try. Um, can you borrow me a watch and your watch? Take it off as, yeah? Okay. Okay. Can you try something to watch? You're not going to disappear with our watch. No, I'm not. Now, I'm not. You? Yeah. That's what all the clubs Let's see. Say. I'm going to this one. <laughs> Hold on to that for a while. And your time is about similar, right? If you can yeah. see, this time is about 9.20. Okay. Yeah, hold on to that. So we use that as a marker, yeah? Now, Hanson, are you 9.20 over here? Yeah. Are yeah. you left-handed or right-handed? I'm left-handed. Left hand. No, I'm not going to touch the stamp here. Okay. Can you extend your left? Your My left. Right, right hand. My right. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's try and get no, the left cameras together. Okay. Get, get a close Hold it. Of this. Okay. Close it. Close it. Turn it over. Turn it over. Now your time is about same as mine. It's marker. Your nine twenty mm -hmm. over there. Yeah. Now. Mind magic, mind magic, mentalism has mm. a lot to do with subtle suggestions yep. and influence. Yeah. Yep. So, but then also you have a free will to do what you want or choose yep. whatever you want. Okay, Hanson, I'm going to ask you one question right now. Yeah. Sure. Between a number one to sixty, I want you to choose one number, any number you want. Uh, let's go with thirty-five. 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 Yeah. All right. You chose thirty-five. Yeah. 
No, I did not influence you. You could no. have chosen other number. Yeah. 35. It was 9.20. We're going to try to move the time forward by 35 minutes. We're going to try that. Yeah. So it's going to be about 9.50 around there, yeah? Uh -huh. yeah. Does that yeah. mean we get to wrap up the show? Or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the producer will come to me. Let's try. 1, 2, 35, and just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look at the time and tell us. Goodness! Awesome! Oh, wow! <laughs> okay, you might not be able to see this, but yes, it's almost 9. It's, it's close! It's 9, it's almost 10 on, on my watch. Yeah. So I, I would give that. So uh, you get to go early today? Yeah, bye! See you guys! <laughs> <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock. Oh, so so can, can you guys see it? It, 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 it does say yeah. it, it's, yeah, it was it's 9.20. I'll vouch yeah. for him. Okay. Yeah, Joe will it, it, it is, it is, it is visible. I think it's visible. Yeah, yeah, it's visible. visible, right? Okay, yeah. See, it's almost time to fall. Wow, amazing. That's, yeah. that's so how cool. does a trick like that work? Yeah. Well, I have to kill you if I yeah. tell you. <laughs> yes. yeah. Which will lead me to my next question, actually. Uh, yes. What do you think of those shows, you know, which bust these magic yes, tricks? Yes, um, well, the, the, the masked magician? Yes. Yeah. Well, what he's doing is totally idiotic. <laughs> Well, he's butchering the art form. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I he mean, completely destroyed magic for me. I'm like, what? That's right. yeah, you know what? You know what? You're, you're a victim of it. Yeah, you guys need to make him disappear. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Unmask him. A lot of once magicians too. Actually, we know who it is. Yeah, he's actually yeah. a guy that is, uh, he was a magician before. He was right. a very good. Obviously, former. not a successful one. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, probably yes. Yeah. Because I do. I did read uh, from somewhere that the code of ethic of a magician is to never reveal the secret. Because that destroys that's right. the idea of magic. Oh, uh, yes, that's right. Yeah. I mean, magic is actually science which is unexplained. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And it has the power to bring everyone, even ad mostly adults, yeah, yeah, back to a moment of childlike yeah. wonder. Yeah. 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 Where yeah. you can actually go genuinely go like, wow, yeah. how did that happen? And yeah. you know, from adult like this, you can become a child again. Like, yeah. And after that, oh, I'm an adult. Yeah. Yeah. Stay cool. Yeah. And it has that power. But people yeah. like him destroy it. Yeah, mm. yeah. And yeah. it's so crucial, especially you know when you grow up. There's not many things that can wow you. That's yeah. right. Except yeah. money. Well, <laughs> but even not, I like to believe in the world that there's more things than just you know people go wow just on that. Yeah, but know? like magic, like, my money automatically disappears anyway. So. <laughs> in fact, if you want to call that magic, there are a lot of magicians out there who <laughs> take your money. And make them disappear in the thin air, yes. right? Well, well, you know, they're, 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 they're a young, young <laughs> crop of musicians, uh, magicians yeah. these days. You know, that are coming out of KL. Um, how do you all differentiate yourselves from each other? Yeah. Is it because of the tricks that you perform? Or is it your personality? Oh, oh, are you? Yeah, are you guys competitive? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's what differentiates is very dif um, a lot of things here. Yeah. It ranges from the way we dress. How we, for me, I like to dress like casual, formal style. Mm -hmm. Some people like to prefer to go for the street style yeah. or the very old you know oh, tail suits, coat and all yeah. this thing yes yeah. suits yeah. yeah and also the tricks and our charisma and our showmanship right. everything is very different there's right. no duplicates of um, the same people right mm. yeah. but are, are you guys competitive are you like oh man he's doing this trick now i'm gonna go back there, this <laughs> you mean like the show <laughs> in the prestige like, you know, you're doing this you're doing this yeah, 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 yeah. That, I mean, yeah. well at the end of the day people say competition is healthy, yeah, healthy. competition is good. yes that's right <laughs> keeps you on your toes yeah, right? yes that's yeah. right and it keeps yeah. you uh, keep on wanting to learn new stuff one thing but in this market, it's pretty niche in Malaysia, yeah, especially yeah, it's still pretty quite niche. niche yeah. yeah, so there's not too much competition going on. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So I'm pretty much what you're trying to say that you you have you have KL covered. <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that. Yeah, there's okay. a lot more places. For Unfortunately, me to we are running out of time, Zelvin. Yeah. Uh, maybe can you show us one more trick before we go? One last one. Very last. quickly. Yeah. A card trick. Yes, we all yes, have yep, yep. Now like let's magic. try something with this. I will need you to shuffle the deck for me. Okay. Yeah? All right, shuffle. I can do that. Shuffle this. Yes. Yeah, you have some skills in gambling. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> we wow. have gin rummy sessions at Canada's <laughs> house. I've been well trained. Now, can I borrow that um, tissue paper from sure? you? Sure. Yeah, All right, I'm just going to write something over here, yeah. Ooh, okay, okay, you so done shuffling? Can you pass it to him as well? Just a quick one. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, shuffle the cards. Yeah. I saw shuffling. You shuffled it one more last time? I shuffled shuffle one more yeah. last time, okay. You can tell I don't gamble. <laughs> okay, you don't gamble. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now let's do this. I'm going to draw... Uh, something over here, yeah. I'm gonna show the camera later. Let me just draw yeah. it first. Okay. I'll go for. It looks like a heart. Yes, it's a heart. It's a heart. Okay. And the lucky number seven. Seven. Yeah, happens to be my lucky number. Okay. Yeah. okay. Seven okay. hearts. Seven hearts over here. Now. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to hearts. name me a number between one to five. Any random number, and you as well, a number between one to five, and we'll sum those both numbers up. Okay. What do you okay. want quickly? Yeah. Okay. One. Three. One plus three. Do you want to change your mind? No. Do you want to change your mind? No. Four. So one plus three will be four. We're going to count off four cards here. Yeah? Okay. One, two, three, and this is the fourth card. I'm going to leave it here. Okay. okay. Now you shuffle the deck. 
So there's no way I could arrange that in a certain that's, manner. Yeah, All right? there's and no way. There's no way. I don't know what card is in where, which position. Yeah. And I draw seven hearts here, and you chose four. Please turn over that card. The four card. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, it is <laughs> the, the seven, seven of hearts, hearts, people. Very nicely done, yeah. Thank I wonder you. if we would change the outcome if we change our numbers earlier on. Yeah. When you ask us. Probably not. Probably not. But you know what, Zelda, a pleasure. Thank, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tane. Of course, if you'd yeah. like thank to you. catch him, uh, you pop down to Zook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, Fridays yeah. or Saturdays, yeah. Okay. Um, and, uh, of course, you have um, a website they, that they can log on to to find out more about you as well. That would be www.zellwinmagic.com or Facebook. Yes, we're going to uh, take another time out here on the Breakfast Show.